What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Vancouver Canucks and we're picking up where we left off just getting started in this season pondering potential trades but for right now I think we're just gonna hold off on that maybe give that top six a bit more of a chance and we're gonna make that a uh, change we're gonna scratch Gianta since he's listed to be depth we're gonna switch him out and put in Elvinus give him a chance here and we'll throw him in everywhere. So substituting all lines. I think that gives them power play time, which is not terrible. Let me check. I think it's power play time. Yeah. Um, as he's got a really hard shot for the power play, I'm going to switch. Oh, Shishko's also got a really hard shot, but. um, Who else do we have there? Do we, we could do Saren Haimo there to maybe get him a few more points. See if we could boost him up. Yeah, instead of Elvinus on the power play, we're going to do Serenimo. And then we'll be able, I'll make sure I'll switch that back when I switch out Gianta again. <clears throat> All right, so that's what we're going to do. Try out Elvinus here. We'll see if we could, how he does, or if we can boost him up a bit more. I'm not too sure, but he's back down to 81 now. He was at like 83. So uh, he's losing morale because of ice time. What the hell? He's listed to be depth. That's weird. All right, whatever. Well... <laughs> I'm not too sure why they're listed to be depth, but then they lose morale because of ice time. Whatever. We're going to play them for a bit here, about a month on, and then a month off, and then, yeah. We're going to basically switch him and Gianta around, see how that, see how they do like that. Let's see how the team does with Elvinus in there instead of Gianta, because we're doing pretty good with Gianta in there. I want to see how we do with Elvinus. All right, let's see now. Okay, win that game. That's good news. And I'm going to see how the top six does uh, with Sutter in the on the third line now. If he can help that third line score, maybe the top six plus minus improves because they don't score a lot on their own. So I'm thinking maybe that has had a bit to do with some of their plus minus. So I, I want to give him more of a chance than just ship off DeMello immediately. Although he is, we will probably need to upgrade him at one point. Damn, dude. A few losses in a row right there. That's not good. After a few wins, can we come back with a win here? Come on, guys. Four-game losing streak. Come on, guys. Win. I know you got a point in that last one, but you guys got to start winning again. That was not good. All right. Scouting. Where are we going? All right, here. Yeah, just keep scouting around. Oh, my goodness. Five games lost in a row, Vancouver. What's happening? There you go. Coming back with a win. But that's not how, the way you want to see things. Winnipeg's a tough team. We beat them twice, which is pretty big. Yeah, pretty inconsistent stretch right here. Won a few, lost a few, now we're winning a few again. I want to see only one loss and then come back with some W's. See, right now we got to come back with W's. We lose against LA. We got to beat these teams. These are divisional teams. Come on, beat Oh my God. Oh. All right, well, we beat one, but we lost two in a row again. I don't like that. We got to start winning those divisional games here. All right, so locker room chemistry is still good. Uh, we dropped to second in the division. Which isn't that great, but it happens, I guess. Let's see how we're doing here. Goals for... Eh, it's alright. Goals against, pretty good, actually. Could could be a bit lower, but it's not bad. Goals for could be a bit higher, too. Power play is doing alright, 20%. Actually, second in the division, so that's not bad. Penalty kill is really good, so nothing wrong with that. Um, Yeah, away record could be slightly better. In the last 10, yeah, 4, 5, and 1. Not the greatest right there. All right, Horvat got 29 points. I think we're at like 30-something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what the hell is wrong with Goudreau, man? Goudreau's doing... He's on the first line getting power play time, too. Like, why, why is he doing so trash for points? I'm not too sure. But whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, Saren Haimo's actually getting some points now. Put him on the power play. He's starting to click. Kemp. All right, just go. Yeah. Elvinus got 7 points in 14 games. It's not bad. Alright, so we got 14 games, 7 points. John only got 6 and 24. But, remember, he was with uh, Sutter. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, switch him back and see how Gianta does. So, I'm going to remember 6 and 24. Alright, you Levy. Wow, getting some points. I like it. Hutton. Hamilton. Did Hutton drop? No. Okay, um... Good Branson, Trampkin, DeMello. Yeah, they're plus minus still a bit weird. But it's looked like it improved a bit, I think, slightly. Yeah, Maltby, he's doing pretty damn good. 
Pumanovs is not doing his job, though. He doesn't have the right amount of points for games played. Maltby, on the other hand, man, wow. He's, yeah, he's, he's killing it. I mean, what else can he say? He's doing really good. All right, so let's switch back to uh, Gionta. Let's see how he does with Sutter now. And we'll, uh, then we'll switch him back after like another month or so. I just want to do this. Make sure they all get a decent amount of games. Gionta, I want to get more games. I want to prioritize him a bit more. All right, so we'll scratch Elvinus. I mean, I could keep him in for another month, but I'd rather switch him quicker than this. I want to give Gionta another shot here. All right, so substituting all lines. Maybe I want to keep him off the power play since Serenheim was doing so good there. But I want him somewhere. So I'll put him on the point instead of Shishko. Unless maybe Shishko is really killing it there, but I don't know. Let's see. He's, he's, he's got a, he doesn't, he doesn't really have a hard shot though. Serenaimo has a bit of a harder shot, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see how that works. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I'll try this actually. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay. Let's see how we'll produce now with uh, Sutter. I want to see if that'll... It should make a difference. So he had six points in 24 games playing with Granlund. Let's see how he does with Sutter here. And now he's back in the lineup. Hopefully our power play still does well also. So we're going to go past the all-star break. Up to this next month and see how they do. Not too sure. There's a good win right there. Gain some morale from being dressed. Yep, yep, yep. All right, a couple wins in a row. That's always good, but we we saw that before. We won a few, then we lost a few. So if we lose here, I want to see us come back with a win. We lost there as an overtime. We got a point. Then we come back with a win, so I like that. Now I want to see us win a few more. Nashville Central Division team in our conference, though, so you never know if we have to fight for a wild card spot. Nice little close victory right there. New York. All right, winning some games here. Yeah, only game we've lost was in overtime, so that's good news. All right, big loss right there to Columbus, but we did score a few goals in there. Now, can we answer back with a win? We do. Answer back with a shutout victory. We shut out Nashville twice in our last two meetings. That's great. Detroit's a pretty decent team now. Lost them, but we get a point out of them. So, in that case, it doesn't matter if we give them an extra point so much that they're not in our conference. So, we steal a point basically from them. So, that's good news. All right, Colorado. Lose to them, and then we lost to Kyle. Ooh, two one-goal losses in a row without getting points. That's a bit unfortunate. But it's all right. Overall, that month was very strong. 1, 2, 2, 0, and 1, 3, 0, and 1, 4, 5, 0, and 1, 5, 1, and 1, 6, 1, and 1, 6, 1, and 2, 7, 7, 3, and 2 for that month. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. 7, 3, and 2. So, out of, yeah, 16 points. All righty. And we're back tied for first in the division. Uh, only two points ahead of Calgary. It's going to be a very tight top three by the looks of it. So, yeah, it's going to be very tight up there. But I like how we're playing right now. Horvath's now got, wow, 45 points. He really jumped in that month right there. All right, so, yeah, now our goals goals for improved and our goals against improved as well. That's that's perfect. That's what you want to trend. All right, power play seemed to improve as well. Penalty kill even improved. 16, 7, and 3, 12, 9, and uh, 3 away. Nice. 5, 3, and 2 for the last 10. Yeah. All right. That's pretty good. All those stats were improving. And, yeah, Horvat 45 points in 50 games. Berchi, 41. Gaudreau, wow. Okay, he really shot up. 37. Besser, 36. Um, Yeah, Besser, 36. Saren Heimo. Ooh, Kemp, yeah, Kemp, he, he doesn't produce, man. He just doesn't produce on that one, it feels like. So, yeah, it's it's not even that he's a good scorer either. It's just that he flat just kind of doesn't produce. So, perhaps a trade. Yeah. Doesn't have to be right now, but he's got two years left, so we got to trade him next year. But it feels like, I feel like we need someone else, and we do have some guys coming up in the system we could replace, and then we could ship the guy off for something. Uh, Shishko, only 17 points. What the hell? John had what, six points in 24 games played? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we got eight points in... 
what was that, 16? That was better, yeah. Eight points and 16 is a lot better than what he got before. So, yeah, he's doing slightly better. We'll put back in Elvinus, though, because he got seven points and 14. Actually, they were on the same pace. Yeah, with uh, with Sutter in there, they, they got onto the same pace. It's all right. I think our defensemen are getting quite a bit of points, yeah. But then Champkin and DeMello are still really minuses. So, it feels, yeah. It's the thing is, like, they there's no point scorer there. But, like, yeah. Yeah, we need someone to get a few points. Two defensive defensemen doesn't quite work. I think we need a solid two-way defenseman here to help get a few points on that third pairing. It would help out our our bottoms, uh, bottom forward groups too, I think. Yeah, I want to hold on to Trampkin. I know he takes a bit of penalties, but he's just way, he's leaps and bounds better than DeMello at the end of the day. And I, I could live with him not getting points if we had someone else there helping wrap things up here. So, yeah, I think DeMello... He'll be the odd man out. Yeah, he's, he's making too much money for what he does, in my opinion. All right, so I think I'll hold on to good Branson since he's, he and you, Levy, seem to be we're killing it together. Yeah. Hamilton and Hutton don't seem to be, be that great defensively with the plus minus. Like, look at how many they're scoring, and then look at their plus minus. But, yeah, they're still good. I mean, can't take anything away from them. All right, yeah, Trampkin, DeMello, I think that's got to switch. I think we got to get rid of DeMello. He was good while it lasted, but yeah. All right, oh, Puminovs, he got real, got a lot better. He's almost up there. He's almost up to the amount of points in games played, but his personal stats are killer. And Maltby, his personal stats are, they're still pretty good for his first year as a starter. They're really good. Plus, he's got freaking six shutouts. Puminovs got two. Yeah, we have a really good goalie comment. Oh, shit. They're both equal on the uh, stats, but it looks like Maltby's still getting more games now i don't know if that'll start switching which i wouldn't be up too upset about if it did start switching maltby's already got a decent amount of games he should still get about 50 games played if they start switching evenly so that's not terrible he'll see that should still qualify as starting goalie time all right okay so that's all I'm, that's what i'm mostly worried about him being able to qualify for starting goalie time all right now we should have what one more month before the uh trade deadline yeah, so I can put back in Elvinus. Yeah, I'll put back in Elvinus here. And uh, see how he does back in the lineup. But yeah, once I put Sutter on that line, both of those guys switching off on the third line got... This, they were on the same kind of pace for points, like one in every two games. So they're on like 0.5 points per game, which is pretty good for a third line especially. So we'll scratch him out, put, in, put back in Elvinus. And he'll now be, instead of him on the point, I'll put back in Shish. Oh, yeah, and I'll also consider Elvinus was getting those points not on the power play because I'd taken him off. So that's something else to consider. He did produce slightly better than Kreider, technically. Who was on the point? I think it was Shishko on the point I had last time, yeah. So we'll do that. All right. Now we'll start simming again. Although it seemed like even though Elvin has scored more, it did seem like our team didn't do as well. So we'll see how that does in this stretch. And also it could, of course, just be coincidence. But Shiri for some goalie and a third. Hold on. What's Shiri like? He's got one year left, making a bit of money. Uh, no. Oh, he's actually, his defensive stats aren't too bad. He would help boost that third line, but eh. I mean, instead of Shushko, I would do that. But I would want a lot more back for Shushko. So I'll consider that. I'll consider something like that. But I'm not going to make that trade exactly. Oh, God damn it. No, 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 no. Don't need Dvor. <laughs> what the? Who? Christian Dvorak, really? What is this? Like, why? What do you guys think we're missing here? Uh, second, you guys think we're missing a first or second liner. I highly disagree with that. I mean, yeah, to replace perhaps Saren Haimo, but Saren Haimo's been doing all right. No, I'll get out of here. All right, hopefully I don't get too much, too many more of those. And that I don't have to clear. Okay, I, I got to clear my trade block. Gallagher would be okay, to be honest, but I think I might have to clear my trade block. If another one pops up, I'm clearing it because that was way too many in a short amount of time. All righty, so we're done scouting here. A lot of bees now. We go here for five weeks. That'll cover that. Yep, 14 guys. All right, but we're still winning here. 
Still doing a decent job. 31, 16, and 6. That'd be great. If we can get to the trade deadline without 20 regulation losses, that would be amazing. That would be choice. That would be really ideal right now. But we just lost twice in regulation, so <laughs> come on, guys. Let's go. Let's have a good string. I'll get out of here. Gallagher is an interesting offer, though. He really is. But, I mean, he's a right winger. And we, for the third line, we'd most likely need a left winger. Oh, my gosh. Stop it, Vancouver, Vancouver, Montreal. All right, come on now. All right, winning some games right there. That was four in a row, then we lost. So, okay, we have two more games here to not lose in regulation and, and reach our goal. Come on now, Vancouver. Timo Meyer. There is a, perhaps a thing. Timo Meyer, maybe. That He could be a decent third liner. I've done it. I've done him before, like playing on the left wing side too, yeah, because he's lefty. Timo Meyer. They want to give him up by the looks of it. Although defensively, he's not amazing, but he is. But he would be better than Shishko, and he's 85. I, ooh, Timo Meyer might be perfect, and I'd I'd give up Shishko for that. Uh, yeah. Although we do still have Saren Heimo, you know what I mean? Well, as a rental, but still at the same time, don't want to give up Shishko's value for rental. Depending, depending on what Shishko has in terms. In terms of value on him. So I'll consider that. Timo. Ah, oh, damn it. Of course. Of course we lose. All right. So 36, 20, and 6. I didn't want to hit 20 regulation losses, but we did at the end of the day. All right. That's fine. So before I forget, though, uh, let me check the stats first. Wow. 78 points first in the division now. So we really blew ahead of everyone there. Seemed like LA must have had a bad month because that wasn't an amazing month for us, but we still did well. So goals for almost at three goals, goals against almost right where it needs to be 2.4. That's where I like it. So it's close enough. Power play 21.7 first in the division. Good penalty kill 86.3 second in the division just though. And uh, we take less penalties. Alrighty, 29 and 3 on home, 16, 11 and 3 away, last 10, 6, 4. No, yeah, LA, look at that. That's, yeah. Same with Calgary, they both did terrible. Alright, now personal stats. Bo Horvat, 53 points. Berchi, 50. Goudreau, 43. Doesn't take a lot of penalties, so he's d he did better. He started off super slow, but he should at least get 50 points. Perhaps even 60, but at least 50. Same with Bester, should get 50. Saren Imo, maybe. Kemp, yeah, he's, he's not he's not it. He's not our guy. Yeah, it's just that's just how it goes, man. He's definitely not our guy. Sutter actually started to decrease in points. Elvinus, okay, he had what, seven points in 14 games. So he got ooh, only five points in 12 games. And that's not that's slightly behind the pace. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Crowder takes a shit ton of penalties. He is a fighter, granted, but eh. If I remember in the playoffs, he didn't take any. We'll see. We'll see how he, we'll see what happens. He is a plus, so whatever. Yeah, Shishko. Yeah, I think it's time to trade Shishko, man. Yeah, I think it's I think we need to trade him. I think it just needs to happen. Yeah, trade Shishko. Kemp, maybe, but we don't have to trade him this year. We can hold on to him, see how he does in the playoffs. I don't I don't think he'll do great, but you never know. His poise is really bad, too. He's got a great shot, and that's really all he has. And that really, his skating and his shot and his puck skills really boost him up. Other than that, man, like, his, his senses aren't good. His defense isn't good. His physical isn't good. And, like, we need his senses to be better. He, his passing is only 84, too. Like, he needs... For his passing to be 84 and work, he needs offense awareness of like 87 plus, and he's nowhere close to that, and he's not going to get there. That's just that's just not going to happen. So he's all he's honestly like not really usable in in the scheme I like to use. Sure, he has a good shot, but he doesn't even produce well for having that shot. He does. You could argue maybe his line isn't that great to help him out, but. I don't know. Saren Haimo seems to be doing just fine. Look at those. Look at those assist numbers. Kemp should be getting in on way more of those. They're both on the power play. Saren Haimo wasn't even getting power play time before um, for a while, you know? 
So, yeah, I I don't think there's much of an excuse here for Kemp. When Besser and Sarenheim will have those point totals and Kemp has those, when he's getting power play time and he's on the same line as them, I think that kind of tells the tale. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather, if he's not going to produce like that, I'd rather just get a two-way forward who's going to be better defensively and should be a shutdown guy while getting the same amount of points, you know? Something, something who brings someone else to the table while doing the same thing Kemp does would be better. But I'd rather, rather get someone... I mean, look, he's getting... He almost has as much points as a guy on the fourth line with no special teams time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Kemp, Kemp's the issue. I'm not, I don't think I'll trade him this year. It seems like something's working with that second line. I'll try to, I'll try to trade him next year. Maybe replace him internally. I'll see what I can get for him. Maybe, maybe get a good Branson replacement of the future. That might be good. Cause I don't, I don't really think we have a good Branson replacement. Uh, I can't even, yeah, I can I don't really think we have someone like that. Yeah, we actually don't. At least right here. All these guys are... Yeah, all these guys are not... I mean, Coop maybe could get there, but I, I don't know. With the red, you never know. So I'd rather get something than for sure. And I actually don't think we have... Um, What am I trying to say? Someone, someone else in the... Con I'll, I'll check contracts, but I don't think we have like a strong, strong prospect here i'll double check i know we had one top four but that was a red that might be the guy i was looking at so let me just double check here but i'm pretty sure we don't have any defenseman like that who's like a for sure replacement coop's the closest thing yeah coop is the closest thing and that's not amazing yeah, Coop is the closest thing to being a replacement. Now, he's on good pace for it. Don't get me wrong. He's on great pace to get there. Um, defensive stats, they're a little uneven. If his if that, that defensive awareness grows a lot more than maybe. And he, you know, when this guy hits the top six, he'll actually be perfect, too, for that top six role as a scoring guy. But I still think I want someone else instead of DeMello come the playoffs. I need, I need someone who brings the same amount of defense, but maybe brings a bit of point scoring to help boost that, boost that pairing so they don't do as badly. You know, just a, a puck mover for that line. Because neither of those guys seem to be great puck movers. You know what I mean? All right. So, yeah, I'm liking where, where Coop is going. Yeah, this is the guy Yeah, this is the guy we picked up in that really weak draft in the first round, 11th overall. So, he better he better freaking get to top four at least for us. But he looks like he's on the way. So, that's good news. Still on the list to be minor top six. Let me see if he's getting top four time, which he should be. I don't think, I don't know if he's listed to be that the whole time. But let me double check that before I look at any trade possibilities. I want to make sure that guy's getting the right amount of time, which I think he should be. Uh, no, he wasn't, but we can move him up now. Stole top six. Yeah, he's not. We're probably not going to use that guy. Although, no, defensively, he's not good enough. All right. Um, yeah, let's move Coop up since he jumped up to that. Uh, this would be minor top six. We'll move him up to play with Deneen. He's an offensive defense, and that'll help out his plus minus. Yeah, because he doesn't produce a whole lot. Deneen does. Still produced a decent amount, but not great. Yeah, we'll try that out. Put him one roll above where he's supposed to be, and that should help him grow a bit more. I think I had him there because he was initially listed to be other. And then I think he, he must have grown and changed that. Anyway, and I'll also move out Elvinus, so I don't forget to do that in the next one. We'll put back in Gianta. All right. How many games played does he have now? 30-something? I don't know. Although I could leave him out for a bit and then put him in and get him ready for the playoffs because I think I'm going to go with him in the playoffs. You know what? I might do that, actually. Leave him out for the next sh short stretch and then play him for the last like few games. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Because he doesn't seem to be losing morale when he gets scratched. Elvinus does. So I'd rather capitalize on him being decent right now. And then see what we can see what else we can get out of him. Besser has jumped up to an 88. Now that's got to be just straight morale. Like there's no, yeah. I don't know though. He might have actually, he might have like grown a little bit towards the end of his thing. We'll have to see when morale resets. But he might have boosted a little bit. Because he was always sitting around 86. But he's at 88. So he might, he might be a solid 87 naturally now which is great for the second line that's perfect all right that's actually good news he got a really good shot still decent offensive stats not great defensive stats but that's all right stick checking's good he's actually kind of physical which is pretty cool he's decently physical for a sniper 
Saranaimo up to 84. Looks like could be a lot of morale, but hey, still, still means he'll play better. And he's not moving off that line, so I like him. And with his defensive stats, he could play third line. Those aren't bad for third line. He could be like a scorer on the third line, you know what I mean? Even if he doesn't get to that natural top six. All right, so things are looking good. Now, uh, Shishko is the guy in question to trade, as is DeMello. All right, so let's check out some possible trades to make for that. Now, for the top six slot, we could get a rental. We could get a guy, like a, a, a true rental. Like, I'm talking about a guy who's pretty old, too, as long as he can skate and move the puck. All right, so what we got to do here is check out. We got to also add in values here. So Shishko, he has a decent amount of value. Would that be able to get? Um, okay, they don't want him, unfortunately. But would that be able to get Meyer? Oh, hell yeah, that'll get Meyer. That'll get Meyer and some. So that'll be perfect. Meyer's a lefty, too. So we can get Meyer and probably get a pick off of him by the looks of it. So that's, that, that's a trade we might want to pull the trigger on. We can ship off Shishko because we know he's not going to get too much better. Maybe get a third out of him. Actually, that might be a bit much since they don't want to give up that third as well. So maybe not. We could look for a red prospect. Perhaps another defensive prospect. Let's see. Any skaters match and block that you guys want to... Although, they're, they're not really at the point where they want to give up prospects. Yeah, they're not, unfortunately. Oh, Couture. Well, if I wanted to trade Kemp, I would go for Couture. But true rental, I'm a... Uh, I, I want to see how some guys grow next year, to be honest, because I don't know if guys like Latang and then another guy are going to be ready for second line. They might not be. I could always play them there, but they might not get the job done. Plus, they're not, neither of them is naturally a center. Could be good, though. All right. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't have any prospects that they'd want to give up. They don't necessarily want to give up picks either. So that's a bit of a, that's a bit iffy to be able to get something like that. And they don't really have any great top nine prospects here by the looks of it. Some of their yellows, though. Maybe even... Oh, there's that Nightingale guy. <laughs> there's that Nightingale guy everyone wanted me to get. I don't think that's possible to get him, though. Yeah, he did great, but I don't... Oh, man. Yeah, they, they wouldn't want to give up a guy. He was like pretty much like the rookie of the year that one year, so... No, no, no defensive prospects. So I'd have to try to get a pick. I could get some later picks and just use them to perhaps move up later. I could pick up some of their picks for value here and then try to use them to throw in for another pick. So, okay, there's an idea for that. Shishko and Meyer and some picks to perhaps use his value come the draft or for another trade, we could flip them immediately to pick up someone in the top six because DeMello doesn't have too much value here and probably not too many teams are going to want him. So we're going to have to... Where the hell is he? I'm completely missing him. So, okay, yeah, he's just way down here. All right, DeMello. We'd have to search for... Hold on, Latang. How... Ooh. He's still, I bet, listed to be top four. Yeah, unfortunately, listed to be top four. Damn. And that's way too much value to get. If... Ah! Yeah. Oh, man. That would be... That would have been really good, though. If he was, like, like 84... 84 overall, I would have gotten, ooh, man, they want to give him up, though. Yeah, the thing is, man, like, I don't know like, how badly he'll hate being on that top six. It's an idea, though. That's a lot of value. That's such a, it's a lot of value to try to get for nothing. We don't really have too much. Okay, no one really here. Uh, no one really here. No one here. But yeah, we don't need just need like a defensive defenseman either. We need someone. Dahan. Let's see. Offensive defenseman. He's a lefty though. I'd prefer a two-way defender. Zbiza might not be bad. Although, no. For an offensive defenseman, his offense stats are pretty garbage. Yeah, so none of these guys really. Yeah, none of those guys. I'd love someone on the block, but it doesn't look like there'll be too much here. Ekholm. Decent. Ellis. Ellis might be. Ah, uh, he's listed to be top four, though. Damn. Why are you listed to be top four? 
And will you be pissed playing it? Yeah, he might be pissed playing that. Oh, he's got three years left too. Screw that. All right, let's see. Um, they want to give up. <laughs> they want to give up prospects. Makes sense. They're having a really good year. Uh, what the hell? Okay, they're going through a hefty rebuild. Osner. See, that's another one who's like on the brink, but just not quite good enough. Or, I mean, not exactly where we need him. I'm not saying he's, of course, he's good enough, but for the role, for the top six role, he's too good. Scandella. Decent. Murphy. Decent, but. Yeah, I, don't, I need someone who pr who's a bit more of a puck mover. Man, Latang was really good. If only he was like just a little bit worse. Nodavara. Two-way defender. Uh, defensive stats aren't that great. Same thing. <sighs> this is tough, man. Nope, definitely not. Yeah, man. Like, someone like Latang seemed great, but it's just. Ah. To Kaiser. A lefty, though. Though you might. Ooh, he's a really. Mi well, they're probably a bad team. Yeah, they're, they're. Oh, actually, they're not a bad team. He's just a minus. Okay. That's, that's raising a red flag for me, though. Honka. Not really the rental type player. Although. Decent defensive stats. Nope, three years left. Yeah, we need we not we honestly need someone who's like a true rental. Like Latang kind of is that true rental. So, Jelena, hold on. Uh, not really. Yeah, this is tough, man. It's we're looking for a very specific player here. Did I see Patrick Kane on the block? I did. Gustafsson, no, not really. Yeah, this is, uh, how about, no, I think he's gone by now. I was thinking about Giordano, but I think he's just gone by now. We, we're a few years in here. Not really. Merrill, no. Yeah, definitely not. Jake Gardner. Could be okay, but he's listed to be top four. If I'm going to get a top four guy, it's going to be someone who has enough overall to be able to sustain losing morale because of ice time. Someone like Latang, who would still be okay in that role. I'm thinking. Pesci, they didn't want to give him up, really. Oh. Oh, he takes too many penalties, though. What the hell? Why does he take so many penalties? Oh, no, never mind. That was just plus minus. That was just plus minus I was looking at, which is really good. Yeah, I, the thing is, though, why the hell would they want to give that guy up? Yeah, he's part. He's an important part of their core. And they're a good team. These guys don't want to mellow, but I'll still look. Yeah, not really. I mean, Kulikov, maybe. Hold on. Let me check out Kulikov. He might be listed to be top. No, he's listed to be top six. Oh, uh, he doesn't. Nope. I need someone with decent production who can also shut things down. It's a lot to ask for. I'm I'm aware. But there is people out. No, get out of here. <laughs> so I was like, nope, not good ass. All right. So I think it'll. I, I might. I might go for Latang. I know it's a bit of value. And I know we're not going to get much out for him, but what else can we have? Like, what else could we get? There's really nothing here. And Latang is... Oh, I actually, D'Angelo. Because I know D'Angelo's... Oh, yeah, this guy can produce. Oh, he's shit defensively, though. Yeah, he's actually really shit defensively. Never mind. Damn! Almost everything matched right there. This guy's just trash all around. All right, so... Yeah, our... We're limited here. We're very limited. Yeah, the best thing that we saw, pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty much Latang, but really, how do I make that work? With value. Like, how do I make that work? Sproul? No, he's not even good enough offensively to be an offensive defenseman. Like, the thing is, how do I make Latang work here? I don't know. But he is seeming like the best choice here. Yeah, he's, he does seem like the best choice. We have plenty of money for that. I don't know. So let me know about that. Perhaps Latang playing in our top six. 
as he declines? I'm not too sure. It could work. I don't know, guys. But uh, let me know about any potential trades uh, for the Timo Meyer deal. Should we pull the trigger on that? Get some extra help from those picks. Use those to get uh, to move for um, either in the draft or move for Latang. I don't know. I'm not too sure if that'll work. So let me know. I can always check free agency to see if there's someone there too for the top. Um, let me just do that now. Yeah, let me just check that now. I don't think there'll be anyone there for like a top six who's decent enough. We'll see though. Let me just double check real quick. I wanna I wanna make sure I little still in there. Uh, make sure I cover all the bases here. Yeah, no, there's no one here. Yeah, like this guy is not even close. No, yeah, no, no one here. It makes sense. Everyone got swooped up. So, yeah, it would have to be a trade. So, let me know about the potential Meyer trade and potential for the top six. Latang is the only one who could work. We could afford him. Although, the value is we'd have to give up a little bit to try to get him. All right, so let me know about all that, if it's worth it or not. And uh, that will pretty much do it for this video. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.